Blades versus guards. Here we go. Which one is better? Let's begin. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the blades. The pros and cons in blades, and I'm going to jump into the guards. And at the end, I'm going to give you my personal review which one is better. Number one, they're more precise. Now, when it comes to cutting the hair and uh, switching from the numbers and even the lever that you may have when you're dealing with the guard, uh, the blades really take out the guesswork because there's no lever. Uh, maybe you have a machine that has a lever on there and that has a blade, but for the blades, for the you know the Andes blades or the Austers, they are uh, pretty um, simple. Everything from the one to the one a to the one and a half to the two to the three, uh, pretty simple. It takes a lot of the guesswork out compared to the guards. Number two, I feel that the Blades are more professional uh, when it comes to cutting hair. Again, it takes out all, all of the guesswork out that the guards leave you, you know, guessing with the lever and you may get lost during that haircut. I feel like uh, the blades are more professional why? because they're obviously, you know, they're more expensive, but uh, they're more, they're quality, they're going to last you longer, and again, they're just quality. You feel the blade and you feel that compared to a guard, it's like, man, night and day. Number three. Less guesswork, as I mentioned earlier, uh, instead of dealing with the, the different numbers, you know, the guards, you have everything from the little small zero to the, uh, the one, the, to the one and a half, to the two, uh, and so forth, and so on and so forth. And with that, you know, for me, I felt like I got really confused when it came to trying to figure out the fade and maybe I switched the, uh, the lever back and it just kind of left me confused. But with the blades, uh, there was less guesswork. Uh, there was not as much confusion. Why? Because there was no lever. Uh, it's just a simple blade. And with those blades, everything from the you know your masters to your largest blade, the three um, that you may have, you may have a, a larger one. But for me, it takes a lot of the guesswork out, and it makes it really simple. And I know where I'm at instead of trying to um, <clears throat> guess uh, where I am in the middle of my haircut. Now there is one downfall, I believe, but then again, you are uh, getting more quality, and it's more of a professional uh, tool that I feel when it comes to cutting hair, and that's the price. The price is probably the only downside to uh, blades is because it, it costs uh, just a little more, a little more expensive. So when it comes to replacing them, it's going to be more uh, expensive, and when it comes to cleaning them, you will also have to, it will also take a little bit more. Uh, work when you're taking out the blade and really getting in there um, that, that's going to take some time and some effort and may cost you more if you break them but for the most part uh, my experience I've dropped my blades and not, not a lot you know I try to not drop the blades it's not the purpose of drop of having the tools was you know to keep them however they uh, they, they do very well when, when, when you drop them and I've had I, ha I have not had uh, any uh, major damage to my blades. Thank God. On to the guards. Number one. Now when it comes to the guards, I feel not as positive. I don't feel as strongly as I do with the blades as you may find out by watching this video. I feel like guards are just not as precise. They don't keep uh, the hair cut as precise. Now you may, I feel like you can get a precise haircut but it's going to take you more time and it's going to take you more um, uh, work when it comes to going over the head and uh, the certain areas that you may have uh, trouble with or just in general. Now the second thing regarding the guards is that they're lightweight which is pretty convenient when you're trying to grab the, um, uh, the guards and switch them out. It's really quick, it's really fast, it's really easy. I'm not saying that the blades are, are really difficult but it is going to require just a little bit more effort to get that heavier blade on there. I mean, very minimal difference, but there is a little bit uh, uh, lighter work when it comes to handling guards um, and using them. A positive when it comes to uh, the guards is that more numbers to, do, to work with, all the way up to the 8. I even seen a 10 that people have used. So when you're looking to make the haircut really easy and take out all the sheer work, guards are going to be your best friend. I like to use guards not sometimes, not all the times, when it makes the haircut just a little bit more uh, easier, depending on the haircut.
But if it's a more of a traditional, more of a blend, the, the haircut itself that I'm going for requires more shear work, I will use shears. But if, it, if it's an easy haircut where they, they already asked for a seven or a six on the top, I'm just going to go over that instead of going, you know, over it with the, uh, uh, my fingers, uh, the, yeah, you get the idea. Cheaper. They are cheaper. Uh, the guards are going to be more cheaper. They're more available out there. You're not going to be spending so much on, uh, guards compared to blades. One blade actually may cost you a whole set of guards. Uh, everything from one to the eight for just one simple blade for the uh, blades. Like a number one. A number one may cost you just the same much as a set of guards. So keep that in mind uh, when you're looking to choose either or. One of the negative things is one of the last and the negative things about the guards is that they're loose and they could pop off and I've heard of stories, I don't think I've had any issues with it, but I'm kind of, I'm pretty, no, actually I've had issues with this. Um, now, that I think, now that I think about it and that I remember that the guards, they, they pop off really easy. They don't really snag on really tightly. I know there's some, some other guards out there I've seen with the, the blade, the, 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 um, the steel uh, clip, which makes it more snug and more uh, fitted, if you will. So depending, uh, if you get the normal guards or you get the uh, the clip-on steel ones, uh, there should be a difference there. I have not tried the clip-on ones, but uh, for from my experience with the regular ones, they tend to pop off pretty easily. And when it comes to uh, the rel uh, reliability as far as not popping off and things like that, the blades are the, the better route. In conclusion, I would say that the blades are the best option for you and for me mostly for me you may choose the guards it may be up to you you know everyone's got a preference and everyone has a way that you may have developed the way with the guards already uh, but for me i actually prefer blades compared to the guards if i had a choice if i had to choose one i would choose the blades the only re the only thing that i like about the guards is that they uh, have the bigger numbers so it's easier to cut on top or even on the sides to get a, a quicker blend. But ultimately, when it comes to the, 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 the bigger blends and longer lengths, things like that, I would choose uh, the shears because um, there's more flexibility and there's more um, functionability when it comes to shears uh, over comb uh, compared to just using a bigger guard, whether it's on top or the sides or anywhere on the hair. So the trophy for me would go to the blade. Why? Because I believe it's more professional, they're quality, and they're going to last you longer, uh, it's going to give you a better haircut overall, and you won't be as doubtful when it comes to um, keeping an eye or keeping track of where you are in the haircut. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's helped uh, with my opinions. You know, my opinion is not final and the last word. So. Again, if you have uh, another opinion or you feel diff uh, indifferent regarding my video, regarding this opinion here, that's okay. You may have a better, um, a better way of doing things here when it comes to cutting hair for yourself. But for me, I like the blades. And might I add, I actually use both at the same time. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I may use it on the top just to get a quick, instead of using the shears, a quick haircut that they already asked for the six or the seven. So I do interchange between the two, depending on the haircut and depending on the guards. So that being said, guys, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please give any feedback that I can make this channel better um, and more entertaining for you and that you can learn something. I really hope that you learn something uh, from, from the videos that I have here. Um, so thank you and have a great day.